if we have a mass resting on a horizontal surface, then the normal force is usually pointing this way. And that's because the normal force is, by definition, normal to the surface of contact, or mathematically, perpendicular to the surface of contact. And even though our particle is in contact with two surfaces, the same concept applies. The normal forces are always normal or perpendicular to the surface of contact. So it doesn't matter if the surface of contact looks like this, or even this. The same concept applies. The normal force is always normal to the surface of contact. And you can think of it physically as the force which is preventing those masses from falling down. Does it matter if we assume the normal force in its correct direction from the beginning? Or in the opposite direction? No, it doesn't matter at all. As long as you have the normal force along the normal line, the only thing that may change is the sign. So if you assume the normal force in the correct direction, you will get a positive sign. And if you assume it in the opposite direction, you will get a negative sign. How about if we have a particle that moves within a curve according to the tangential and normal coordinates? Well, in this case, the normal force acts by default along the normal direction. And as you can see again here, it always acts to prevent the object from falling down. 